Okay, hey, real food people. Um, I'm going to make a little bit of an experiment right now. Um, I'm calling this pumpkin bread, but you can call it whatever you like. I'm not really sure what it's going to be when it's all said and done. But I have a number of things, and this is kind of how I've always cooked, even when I was eating the traditional, sad, standard American diet. Um, I was always a person who would just go into the refrigerator, and whatever was there, I would just kind of make it and put it all together and see what I come up with. I'm not a big recipe follower, which is one of the reasons why I'm not a big recipe writer, but I think I need to get better at that, especially if I'm going to be trying to share recipes with other people because people ask me all the time, well, how much of this do you put in? And because I'm not measuring stuff, but I'm going to have to get better at that. So let's see what it, what it comes out to, and then maybe I'll try to figure it out and write it down. And the other thing is um, a lot of times I'll make stuff and I think I'm measuring, and then I'll add a little bit more at the end and so it's just never really clear what I'm doing um, but I, I'm, I've been really inspired last night I went to Dr. Rita Marie Lascauslo, um, uh, to her house here in Austin she's um, a, a wonderful person in the raw food world I think she's pretty well known and she has these wonderful meetups in her home and I went to one last night and I had a fantastic time she um, and a couple of different people well there was a first there was a class so I was there from 4 30 I think I left at like 11.30 at night and we learned how to make um, Christmas cookies and garlic mashed potatoes for, there was a Thanksgiving a holiday theme and garlic mashed potatoes and just so many awesome things and then everybody brought stuff and we sat around and ate and um, talked to all these wonderful people in, that are into raw food and learning about raw food and one thing I will say about um, this group of people, or just meeting people, um, when you live your life uh, with eating such high vibrational foods, um, the, you, you're elevated um, spiritually and it's just, it's really easy to connect with people and I think people are just living with their souls open wide and their hearts open wide and I just connected with some people in a real, really, real intense and wonderful way and made some good new friends and I even met some people uh, reconnected with people in the past and I just think God has a an awesome way of bringing people together so I, I'm really grateful for that and I love her and we'll be back and I learned so much and I'm um, I'm really thankful for this whole journey so before I talk off my time which I've been known to do I want to get started so anyway um, this is kind of like a week after Halloween and I had the inside of the pumpkin Oh, well, it's a little commercial for H-E-B. H-E-B is actually not that bad. The supermarket here, they have a lot of good fresh produce, and they even the H-E-B Plus has some good health food uh, stuff. And um, I'll talk more about that another time. But anyway, so I have the leftover pumpkin innards, and um, I don't have the seeds from that pumpkin. We actually tried to roast them, and it, we burned them, and that didn't work out. But I went and I bought pumpkin seeds, and they've been soaking for, oh, maybe eight hours. So, and um, I also juiced um, recently, and I have the inside, the pulp of um, apple, banana, and sweet potato, um, and carrot, not, not banana, apple, sweet potato, and carrot, and that's a lot of pulp, so, um, and I've got some dates, um, so, and I've got some ground flax seed. So I'm going to see, and some agave. So I'm going to see what I can do with all of this stuff, I'm going to get my nutmeg, and and my cinnamon and maybe some pump pumpkin spice and with all of these things I'm just gonna mess around and see what I come up with I've got my um, dehydrator over here I'm not in love with my dehydrator but I also have some vanilla so I'm gonna see how that gets in there too but I don't have anything to compare it with and um, so it's more, it does the trick. I just always feel like I have to dehydrate for a very long time. And I don't know if that's the case with the Excalibur, but uh, the thing I don't like about it, as long as I'm talking about it, is that um, the these are slated, or you know they've got these holes in them, and so it makes it very hard to make some things that it might be a little bit more liquidy. Like if my bread, I guess I just need to make less liquidy things. But the breads or the crackers, they start off fairly um, moist and so I end up with stuff just dripping down while I had to go and buy separately these little things which didn't even really fit 
and I had to cut them, and so it was kind of a pain in the butt. I think that if you're going to make a product like this, that you should sell the sell the slats that go with it. This was a very necessary part, and it didn't come with it, and so that was kind of a pain in the butt. So um, if you are able to bite the bullet and get a better one, it's doing the trick now. I just see that I have about some baby hairs or whatever. I'm not supposed to be touching your hair while you're cooking. So anyway, I don't have a very big bowl because I'm sprouting stuff with my big bowl. But in my Vitamix, I have um, about a, a, bit, a good handful of fresh dates. And I learned last night you're supposed to soak your dates. Um, I soaked my my nuts. I always remember to soak my nuts, or my, at least the dark ones, because you want to make sure you get those enzyme inhibitors off there for easier digestion. And um, even with the light nuts, I have heard that nuts like cashews and macadamia, you want to soak them because it does cut fat in some way. So I'm going to put a little bit of water into the Vitamix and I want to make a paste. So again, this is all very experimental. So I don't really even know how this is going to turn out, but we'll find out. So maybe I'll put a few more in there and maybe that is too much water, but we can always add to stuff and you'll see how it, so I'm putting this on the variable. I'm going to do this on low to start. last night is to really pay attention to the sounds of the Vitamix that you can kind of hear when stuff is um, where you want it to be. This is a little bit too liquidy, but, um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some purely, purely, purely experimental here. I'm going to add some of the pulp from the carrot apple, and also there was ginger in this as well. So I'm going to add that in there. I really like this consistency right now, and I'm going to take that out. And okay, I am going to use this big bowl. Okay, I'm going to use So um, that's a nice kind of a uh, cake batter consistency. So it might be a little bit thicker than that, but we can always use water to uh, loosen it up a little bit. One of the things that I know that I need in this kitchen is spatulas, because it's always hard to get stuff out of the Vitamix. There we go. It's just a little bit of elbow grease and gravity working together. So um, I like this consistency so far. Um, it's kind of like a a little thicker than an applesauce, but I had a lot of stuff left in the Vitamix, which is also so hard. I broke my food processor last week, just messing around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the um, pumpkin, I'm going to put all of the pumpkin seeds in because I think um, that's going to really give this a lot of the form to make it hard like a cracker or a bread. You can hear my dog crying because she wants to go outside, but it's just pouring rain, and then she's not going to go out right now. She can go out in the backyard, but she's not going out wandering around. So, um, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla into the bat, into the mixture there, just a couple, just a splash, and I'm going to add some cinnamon. And some nutmeg. I'm a little nervous about this because it really is very experimental. So, <laughs> so let's see. And then let's get our, our nuts going. So just adding a little bit more water. Just a little bit because I I think like I said, I don't I'm concerned about it being too wet. Especially in the dehydrator. And now, I had a big vat of agave, so um, I don't like continuing to have, it, to have to lift that big thing, so I put it in my ketchup thing.